focusing on you. Innovations in modern medicine from your team of experts at UHealth, the University of Miami Health System. At 84 years old, Bobby Rutt noticed her memory wasn't as sharp as it used to be. No matter where you are or what you are, there are times you suddenly forget a name. She met with world-renowned neurologist and researcher Dr. James Galvin, the director of the University of Miami Miller School of Medicine's Comprehensive Center for Brain Health, which just opened its doors this month in Boca Raton. The focus of our research is on neurodegenerative diseases, slow degenerative diseases of the brain that affect memory and other thinking abilities. This includes Alzheimer's disease, Lewy body dementia. The center's goal is to better treat and prevent these diseases through projects like the Healthy Brain Initiative, which studies people from all backgrounds. We test their memory, we test their cognition and thinking, uh, we ask about psychological traits, uh, we do blood tests, we do genetic tests, we do imaging studies. We are moving away from the one size fits all off the shelf approach to taking care of your brain. In 2000, Peggy Scarlotta started noticing changes in her husband Peter's personality. Just being anxious and nervous and um, worried about everything all the time, that wasn't him. After years of being misdiagnosed, Peggy found Dr. Galvin and the answers she had been searching for. And we diagnosed him with Lewy body dementia, which is the second most common cause of dementia after Alzheimer's disease. It affects 1.4 million Americans, so in many ways, it's the most common disease that you may never have heard of before. Dr. Galvin and his team got Peter on the right medication and Peggy into a support group. By the center supporting me, that, that uplifted my entire family. <laughs> Despite the difficult journey, the two just celebrated their 45th wedding anniversary. We connect with our eyes. We can look at each other. And we always said we had that connection. Doctor, what can we do to keep our brains healthy? What we're very interested in is this concept of resilience. It revolves around your physical activity, your cognitive and leisure activities, what you do for fun, what you do for enjoyment, our diet, what we eat. Bobby was diagnosed with mild cognitive impairment, but says the center is teaching her techniques to preserve her memory. I'm doing exercising at home on my own. We have a salad, a nice salad every single night. I see a tremendous difference. 